Hey, this is Andrew Brown from Exam Pro, and we are going to learn a bit about AWS networking here. So I have this nice big architectural diagram, and we're going to work our way through it, okay? So the first thing you'll want to do when you want to launch resources is you're going to have to choose a region to launch them in. And so a region is a geographical location of your network. So that could be US East 1, which is North Virginia, or maybe you would choose Canada Central, which is based in Montreal. Once you've uh, decided what region you want to launch resources in, you're going to need a VPC and uh, a VPC stands for virtual private cloud. It is a logical isolated section of the AWS cloud where you can launch AWS resources. So it's just a slice uh, of the AWS network just for you. OK, and then once you have uh, uh, your VPC, you're going to want to subdivide it up into subnets. Uh, and so subnets are a logical partition of IP network into multiple smaller network segments, okay? So you could have public and private subnets. The difference between a public and a private subnet, a public one is uh, generally accessible to the internet, whereas a private subnet is where it is not, okay? So when you have things that need to be super secure, uh, you're gonna put those in a private subnet, all right? Uh, and so subnets um, are defined within an availability zone, and an availability zone uh, is just a data center for your uh, for where you're going to launch your AWS resources. And those AZs are contained or are specific to uh, specific regions. Okay, so uh, now we have a region, we have a VPC, we have our subnets, um, and so we can uh, go ahead and start launching uh, resources into our subnets here. So we could launch an EC2 instance or an RDS instance. But how uh, how is that uh, EC2 instance going to reach the internet? So in order to do so, uh, we're going to need um, a gateway to the internet, and that's where Internet Gateway comes into play. So it enables access to the internet. You can think of it as a door to the internet uh, uh, from your VPC uh, outward, okay? Um, but just having an internet gateway is not enough because the subnet has to know how to reach that internet gateway to reach the internet, and that's where route tables come in. So route tables determine where network traffic from your subnets are are directed. So you would create a, a, um, a route in your route table to say, hey, route table, go here and go out to the internet, all right? Uh, now that we uh, have a way to the internet and we can launch uh, uh, resources um, into our subnets, uh, what about security? And that's where security groups and knackles are going to come in. So security groups is uh, acts as a firewall um, uh, at the instance level. So here you can see that we have an EC2 instance in RDS and they span subnets and we have a, a border drawn around it to say that the security group is protecting those uh, two instances. So that's how that works. And you have knackles and knackles is another form of security, but it's at the subnet level. So it sits in front of subnets and controls access in and out of those. Okay. So, I mean, those are the most important components of AWS networking. Uh, there's definitely a lot more, but that's all we need to know for now. Okay.